There oh. was a football player recently that came out and said that the whole NFL is scripted. So you know how there's always these, these you know, crazy shits that go on with the players. And it showed when this person got their script in their eyes. <laughs> Damn, that must suck for some people. Someone's reading the script and like, I'm going to tear my ACL in the first game. You guys are pieces of shit. To be Everybody. Funny. Talking about, um, yeah. What, what is that segue to? Talking about, <laughs> talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, yeah. I think fuck all this shit up. <laughs> I'll say this. You know what else is fire about Power Washing Simulator in shit. particular? It's dropping in play. You jump in a level, you could clean some shit. As soon as your wife is like. You need to come do some shit. Come wash these dishes. Come take out the trash. Come turn the game off completely. When I get back into that game, it resumes right where I left off. There's no downtime in the game. I think that shit is fire. Like, I just finished cleaning the car, but I still got the driveway to clean. Uh oh, but you got to take the trash out and do other things. I got to turn the PlayStation off. Then when I come turn it back on, I'm right where I left off. And Power Wash Simulator is so fucking good that I played through the entire thing on PC Game Pass. I played the whole fucking thing and then I just bought it again on the PS5. The game is fire. Which you could you could solve a lot of your problems if you uh, hooked up your power washer in real life. So like your wife comes and tells you to wash the dishes, you just hook up your power washer and you just blast those <laughs> dishes. You need to take the trash out, you could just blast it out the door with your power washer. You have a hole in that shit so fucking quick. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> For our next topic, boys. Comes to sports and how sports they put it like this. Are sports rigged? Not though. Ask you all that. sports. All are, sports are rigged. Is are, that, is, are sports ugh, sorry, drinking and talking. Are sports rigged to the point where it's controlled? Everybody knows. Tony is saying R so many times that all I see is a pirate. It was R R R Matey. That's you all know, I'm seeing. It's, it's been a long you, night you of know, drinking, bro. I'm you know my good. Fa- you know my favorite pirate joke is from the movie Dodgeball. Where they keep referring to that guy as Steve the Pirate the entire movie. And then finally at the end, he's like, he got his hair cut. He's in a polo shirt. And oh, the guy's like, oh, yeah. look, it's Steve the Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But earlier in the movie, he, the dude's wearing pirate gear. He's like, we have a guy that dresses like a pirate on our team. <laughs> I remember that shit. I don't. I don't know this at all. No. Oh, one oh my god. It's it's my favorite joke from that entire stupid movie. Uh I would I would say probably not Tony. I don't know, man. People talk a lot of, a lot about boxing. They talk a lot about uh I mean boxing is the main one that I hear in particular people try to claim it's, it's rigged. Jake um, Paul I just think, got his ass whooped. I think that the he did. I think that uh I think that the refs in boxing kind of suck. Um uh, not not the refs, the 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 score the who the scorekeepers whoever whoever it is that is t- uh, taking the score. I the disagree with I disagree with a lot of the judges' decisions, but I don't know if I would straight up call it rigged or not. There has been evidence previously of some uh, organized crime influences in boxing, so I can't say it never happens. What about you? What do you think? Like how how would you rig a basketball game? Yeah. By taking like certain pen- players pen- out, by taking certain like players pe- out, like penalties can only do so much, right? Like, but by taking they can certain- do a lot. You yeah. didn't see. There's a documentary that came out not that long ago with the. There's the one referee who, um, he got fired and maybe he got like jail time or something for because he was placing bets on games or something like that, or he was like he was placing bets on games that he wasn't a part of or something. Mm-hmm. But people deemed it to be unethical regardless. But he was a referee, and all these referees have their biases and things like that. But a lot of these referees apparently they have a lot of sway over the game, like just depending on what calls they're making. Like, they could change the game. Like, for example, Allen Iverson used to do a certain move where he would, like, dribble the ball, like, and hook hook his hand. And a lot of refs would just call that a travel. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you do that enough times, you're going to disrupt the flow of the game. You're going to swap enough possessions. 
that in a very competitive game could result in just off the strength of those calls flip the game in in the favor of another team so you wouldn't be able to rig it completely but there's an amount of influence that that a referee can have um obviously a judge just f- fighting sports are more susceptible to this because yeah a judge is going to determine the outcome if there's not like and, a knockout or something yeah and if there's not a knockout like there's just there's no uh i don't think there's any recourse right like you can't like appeal a, a, a score that a judge gives you in a round or something in boxing right yeah i don't i don't think so i think I've, there are cases where like the scores have been so egregious that investigations have occurred but mm-hmm. like beyond that, I don't, I don't think somebody's like, oh, I disagreed with the decision. We need to appeal. I don't think that, that that aspect exists or has been done. I've never heard of it. I've been watching boxing my whole life. Yeah, same. I've heard about like uh, they found out things and then they, you know, they ruled the match differently because someone was like actually cheating. Like, did that that dude that put the plaster in his gloves? Didn't he win that match the night of? But then they found out he put the plaster in and he retroactively lost the match or whatever no they never they never um they never did retroactively they ne- did anything the, really he got caught. That's, that that sucks too because that, that guy that he fought never was able to fight again like he okay he all right permanently yeah, yeah, yeah. damaged him yeah, yeah you're talking of a different thing okay I, i'm thinking of antonio margarito getting caught with the pa- plaster in his gloves but you're talking about um i don't damn, remember I forgot his name, his name want- but yeah that was bad. It was like the, he removed padding from his gloves. And replaced and, it with plaster. Yeah, he fucked that guy up. Like, Yeah. Um, How do you get away with that? They, 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 you, you're, you shouldn't be able to, really. Like, the, there, there was the some... The 80s, man. Don't they... Like, like, oh, the 80s. I thought it's it was old, The older... The, you, the more you go back in time, the less stringent people were with sports rules. Now... All those experiences, now there's a lot more, like, you know, checks and balances. But. What sports do you think are rigged, Tony? All sports? What What, what, what is your right. uh, What is your take? Because I'm assuming from this topic that you feel that some amount of sports are rigged. Uh, any chess. Fighting. Chess is the most rigged sport. Okay? <laughs> any I don't fighting. know how the fuck you rig chess. <laughs> well, ahead, you sorry. see, you get that butt plug that they were talking about that vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> Any any fighting sport. Have you guys been getting ads for these butt plug things? It's, no. it's all I've been seeing lately. It's overwhelming. It's like <laughs> it's like these ads where like there's a like a not a butt plug, but it's like a, a sex toy a girl would wear, and then you mm-hmm. have an app, and then you could like draw on the app, and it makes the girl's thing vibrate, and it. Oh like, yeah, th- th- those are fun. Yeah, oh, so, so then you so. go around in public, and then she's, like, trying to order a latte, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I want you to come right in front of this barista. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so so that just popped up on your phone for no is reason? That, is that What's, the Yo, line? I swear to God, lately I've been scrolling Instagram or Facebook, and that shit's been popping up on me. It's weird. I think uh, I think we need Pucho to direct one of these commercials. <laughs> Word. That shit don't pop up for no reason, Pucho. That, that shit pops up because you've been searching and searching and searching. Going based off your last conversation we had when I said your phone hears you and it puts advertisements on your fucking phone. You're like, no, you got to search it. Nigga, search well, it I for said me. there are other ways. There are, there are ways that they get information from you that are vastly superior to listening to a conversation that it doesn't make sense to listen to you. That's what my claim was. And yeah, if I search this stuff up, sure, it would start coming up in my feed. But if I hung out with people recently that have searched for similar things, it'll also come up in my feed. Hmm. Data. Whatever you do in your spare time, my brother. No problem. Okay. So what seems, were you going to say? Seems like a what? fun thing to do with your spare time. <laughs> Maybe uh, not the specific barista <laughs> example. <laughs> um, Mateo asked me a question, right? Yeah, what sports, what do, you sports do you think are rigged? rigged? All fighting sports are rigged. Off red. Even like UFC and whatnot, like just all, all fighting them. sports. All of them are rigged. The, the slap fighting, they know who's going to win that one beforehand. That's new. That's what does rigged mean? Like it's set. Like, like some, Las Vegas some, has a set. Somebody where, picks a winner and then that person wins? Yes. How do like knockouts happen? Like the fighter. I accidentally dropped my guard. 
Fuck okay, me the cool, fuck cool. out. So you the think these, fighters you think... are actors in this world. Okay. No, they get knocked out seriously, but they just let themselves get knocked out. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, okay, yeah. They're they're, they're play- It's like WWF. They're playing to a script. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Speak. Speaking of that. Speaking of that. Sorry for the derailment, but I was watching CNBC the other day or MSO, whatever that financial one is, right? Uh, and they are thinking. Uh, they're thinking about allowing betting in WWE, like wrestling matches, like WWE wrestling matches. Oh my god, that's a bad. Which idea. is the wildest thing in the world to me that they're betting? even trying to push for that. Yeah, betting. They're gonna to allow see who's you gonna to win. bet to see who's gonna on win like oh, WrestleMania. Betting, betting. I'm, I'm like. Like mattress firm betting. Oh, like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> no, like, that's uh, weird. you can, can put bets on like WrestleMania and whatnot, which is wild to me though, because because they're 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 those are actually rigged. Like wrestling is scripted. Yeah, facts. how are they gonna allow betting? <laughs> yeah, so, but you're betting on what you think the organization's gonna choose. Like, yeah, but there's people out there that like have knowledge of who's going to going to uh to it i guess if you make a big bet they'll investigate you a little bit or something it's just odd to me that anytime a football game basketball game or a soccer game is up and las vegas just has the perfect fucking numbers all the time to get eight and a half points all of a sudden you're muted all there was a football player recently that came out and said that the whole NFL is scripted. So you know how there's always these these you know crazy shits that go on with the players, and it showed when this person got their script in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gets their script at the beginning of the year. <laughs> Damn, that must suck for some people. Someone's reading the script and like, I'm gonna tear my ACL in the first game. <laughs> you guys are pieces of shit. To make everybody, fun of me. everybody gets their script at the beginning. Like, can you imagine the O line script? They're like, yeah, you're gonna get up every play and just set up blocks. <laughs> I mean, every play right. you're gonna block for your offensive play. Like that's their script for the whole season. That's so boring. in the Cowboys game, when our kicker missed four. Back to back, or that he missed the whole entire year, the whole, the whole entire year. He missed four in one game. One game, he fucked up betting so bad. Vegas won. Everybody was screaming out "rig, rig, 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 rig," because there's no way a motherfucker who damn near perfect kicking field goals all season long. And in one game, he outdid his miss it for the whole season. And you don't think it's possible, man? There's a whole concept in baseball called the yips where, like, you get in your own head and you lose the ability to do the things you're known for, whether it be hitting, pitching, whatever. Like, there's a whole concept. Like, it's so you, real, e- real easy say, to get what, in your head. That's why you throw a couple bad pitches and then... Then you got the 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 court the 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 pitching team come into the mound. They're like, all right, we need to talk to the pitcher. We need to get his head right because he's he's fucking up right now. His head ain't in this right now. Like, I never heard that was the first time I heard that. Jibbies, you said the yips, the yips. Never. Heard I of think that you're term. not allowed to say that in front of pitchers during a game, though. Like, it's like because that automatically gets. I in never their head. heard. I I never heard of that before either. Nah, we don't watch baseball. I don't know. I will, think I, about when we're playing 2K. If if we get scored on too many times in a row, we're like, all right, let's call a timeout. Let's just, like, let's take a break. Let's reset and, and, and let's turn your fucking Vita off. We're recording, though. What the fuck? Um, you know, you, you'll call a timeout and then you, you're like, all right, let's reset. We're not in this right now. Let's get our mental right. I've got him back into Rocket League real heavy, dude. And like even that momentum in Rocket League, man, you get you get two scored on you in a row. Nah, you man. either you're, you're gonna you're gonna fall apart at, at some point if they if they're just scoring them in five seconds every time they touch the ball. <laughs> Me and my dog Pucho have come back from greater defeats and won. Like, bro, we were down what four one or some shit like that. I, it was games we came back. We've come. We've made some crazy comebacks. But the but problem that the- fucks me is this guy below me. You know why? Because before I even get to get the chance to kick the fucking ball. Don't fucking miss, bitch. 
<laughs> oh my fucking god! I was like, yo, and then I fucking whiff so hard. It, He's and like, now, see? and now, imagine, and now, imagine you're the kicker on a football team in this do or die situation, and your team is also telling you they're on the sideline before you go for the kick. Hey, man, just you know, just kick it straight. You know, just do what you do. Just nah, don't miss. Uh, that's the part. <laughs> Isn't that my, why they sorry. say my favorite the, part about Rocket League is that I used to give Tony so much shit that Tony was like, "Bro, I'm not going to play this game with you anymore if you keep giving me shit." So now, like then, that we went through like a whole year and a half of playing Rocket League. Where I never said anything to him, and every time he fucked up, he would still get mad at me. He'd be like, <laughs> "I know, I know what you're thinking." <laughs> <laughs> and then I can feel him going like this. <laughs> like if I was the one hitting that shit, I would have made it. Like, bro, and he does it in 2K. <laughs> he does it in 2K. Like, it's so bad because it's like, bro, I get the ball. I know how I shoot. Grab, <laughs> gather. Release. That's way too fucking slow, nigga. You barely made that shit. You barely made that shit. You gotta go faster. I'm like, I'm not gonna I lie. Make That's it? what I hear everyone saying. Yo, you take too long to shoot. I'm, my guy shoots Tony slow. Tony takes too long to do everything. He takes too long to shoot. Takes too long to pass. He be vision. holding the rock for eight seconds out of on a twenty four second clock. I'm like, pass <laughs> the fucking ball. I have vision, but yeah, I think it's Rick. I think some aspects is Rick. But there's just no way, bro. Just, how's Vegas know every fucking... Bro, when, down to well, a well, science. When you, have, when you have the resources and you have the computers and you have... And you have people you know in what your mean? pockets. Like, you got the refs in your pockets. I wouldn't say you have the refs in your pockets. I just say data analytics. analytics. Like, if you have, a you know, people doing that and you have a lot of money invested sure, in it. Sure, that's, that's, that, yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. But no. It's rigged. It's, it has to be rigged. There's no other explanation. <laughs> like, I, I, I just think I, I think their job is... You're saying, how could they get it right? That's their job. Their job is to get the numbers right. That's what... They spend all day, all the whole time of their day, getting the numbers right. That's yeah, the whole just, point. If they don't get the numbers ch- right, they don't got a business anymore. They're just chatting with chat GT, uh, GPT all day and just <laughs> running the, the scenarios. <laughs> it's just, South Park it's just like, made it's an like episode. Uh, of like Nate Silver, right? <laughs> mm. B- before the Trump election, with um, Hillary and he Trump. Had, yeah, he, he was, was flawless. Like, he was, was flawless. He had a whole bunch of like uh, different races that he would predict who's going to win, and he was right every single time. And it all like. You could scream rigged. He got the script, blah, blah, blah. But it was his job to get the numbers right. Like he would, what they would do is like do projections based on polling data, based on how people voted historically, based on all these different aspects. And they would make predictions on who would win. And believe it or not, with all that data handy, you can make people act predictably. You could make a pretty good like estimate. Like, if you have a team of players and they all average the most points in the league and they're playing against a team that averages less points, right? Who are you going to bet on? You're going to bet on the team that scores more, right? Like it's just like obviously that's a simple example, but that's ultimately what it comes down to is like they're just taking the st- statistics historically and applying them to the games and they just have access to all this data. They're writing these programs to crunch all these like calculations out like I, I, about, I don't think it's rigged. But. What about the refs? You don't think the refs play a part in these bullshit calls? Absolutely. I- because yeah, I, I I don't I don't think that re- I don't think that like the vast majority of refs are like paid off or anything, but I think that that shit probably happens. I think it probably happens more often than I realize. Well, so, Tony, uh, the Olympics rigged. I would say that'll probably be the only sport that's not. There's too much pride on the line. Or there's yeah, pe- right. Roy Jones Jr. got robbed at the Olympics of his gold medal. <laughs> this is a documented robbery. So yeah. there, there are cases of corruption in all sports, but to just blanket claim that a sport across the board is rigged, rigged that just feels weird. Yeah, yeah. Floyd Mayweather got robbed at the Olympics, and Roy Jones Jr. got robbed at the Olympics. Ima- imagine you're watching like a NASCAR race or something, and they were actually rigged. So the dude in first place is just like streaming <laughs> towards the finish line and just hits the brake for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> 
thing. It's like, wait, I'm not supposed to win. I'm supposed to come in third. (laughs) Which brings me up to another good point. Should we give her to referees? Put, like, bots to make the plays and make the calls? I think that that one comes up a lot in particular with baseball because, like, there's the technology that exists, right, where they could have a perfect strike zone and they could – know for a fact whether every pitch is in that strike zone or not right pooch like that that should exist yeah they display it <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> when you watch the game guy. you can see the box and boom you can see the pitch and they draw the little circle of where the pitch landed you know that it's a strike and sometimes the umpire calls the wrong call even though you're looking at the and they're like oh they so, need to review that you know you know so would, but, would it would it break the game like if they just went pure automated like uh like rulings on that got rid of the um- umpires i mean they couldn't get rid of all the umpires right because there's still like s- certain other decisions that have to be made with all the rules of consideration right but there, it would break baseball because um so much about baseball hinges on the tradition of baseball like it's the it's a, it's america's pastime you know what i'm saying they they hang on to these traditions and, and their history and stuff like that so i feel like for a lot of baseball fans you would be ruining the sport by like automating something like that but i think it would make the sport better personally it would go faster too right like there yeah. wouldn't be all the time for like the 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 instant replay reviews and things like that i think there'd be less drama though Nothing's more hype than like some type of drama in a game. The wrong call, it gets people. It would sterilize sports to to an extent where it's like everything's gonna be like super mechanical. You know what I mean? Imagine football, Tony. Like they uh they have just like a, an automatic laser that spots the ball for them after every after every play. Bro, if we had bots or or, or whatever instead of referees. Cowboys would have went to the playoffs deep when they were playing against the fucking Packers. <laughs> T.O. fucking rolled into the f- and it was a touch. Oh, word, word, word. Either way, I think it'll be <laughs> worth it. And basketball, I think it will be fantastic. Just because these refs be calling some bullshit ass fouls. I'm not gonna lie to you, when the Celtics played the Lakers and Brown fouled James, it was a foul. Clear as fucking day, didn't get called. I think that was rigged. Some way, somehow, referees deke and they didn't see that shit. I think it was rigged. I, I don't know. I I think I think there's there's pros and cons to it. It kind of goes to like think of like automated um traffic uh violations. How do you feel if, like, you were just speeding and then, boom, they just sent a speeding ticket to your house? You'd be fucking pissed. I've heard those things are real easy to get out of. Like, you just have to go and, like, be like, "Mm, that was me in the car. (laughs) And they can't really, like, reliably prove that it was you in the car. They can't give you a third party. A third party uh, thing can't give you a fucking a ticket because they're not the law. But, yeah, that that would be miserable. Like, there was just shit built into the cars that if you're speeding, it just automatically gives you a ticket. That would be, some, be fire. Uh, that'd be some demolition man stuff. That would be that fire. Would it'll, it'll stop a lot of accidents. If you, you're muted, if you look at your phone, you get a ticket. I I think that should be fire. It'll save a lot of lives. It'll suck, but I think it'll save a lot of lives. I'm not going to lie to you. People don't. Yeah, need to I be think f- there's an amount of lives that it would save. I don't know if it's worth violating our freedoms for it, but um, yeah, I don't know. The. For sports, though, it could make a game take forever. Imagine they had robots calling fouls in the NBA game. You know how many times the the referees use their discretion? Like, someone touches a player. That's illegal. You're not supposed to touch anybody. (laughs) The only time any contact should occur is if you're in the post or boxing someone out or, like, trying to fight for positioning on a rebound. Otherwise, there's supposed to be no contact between players. But there's plenty of contact when you watch games. And the referees use their discretion to say, All right, I'm not going to call that because like that's not disturbing the game. Or this is just, you know, we're, there's a rule for this, but we're going to use some leeway because of blah, blah. Like, imagine a robot that every time there's a touch, beep, people, players are getting fouled out like a motherfucker. It would change the sport fundamentally. Yeah, players are going to play differently now that 
robots are determining what what's happening on the court. Would, you know would I mean? that be better or just different? I think it'd be worse for a sport like worse? basketball. Yeah. It would remove a lot of like the strategy, like the the. I mean, for me, I love the contact. So, like, I want to go back to the '90s where people were getting clotheslined on the basketball court, getting and it was elbows. halfway acceptable. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I love that shit. Now these players are just a bunch of fucking wimps. Um, imagine, imagine soccer, and they had to wear like uh, they had like sensors built into their their shin guards or something, so you could actually tell if a player was legitimately like it took enough force to be on the ground holding their leg, or if they're just flopping. <laughs> Bro, there's nothing worse than soccer players flopping. Bro, I don't know what it is with these guys, these fucking Hollywood guys. You can be like this. He'll the grab Hollywood his guys. eye. He'll grab his eye and be like, oh, oh, I can't see. I I think it, like, I think that it's uh just be, it's a it's become a legitimate strategy in the game over over the years, right? I saw a clip of a guy run up to another guy. He grabbed the guy's hand and hit himself with the guy's hand, and then he threw himself on the ground. I was like, <laughs> yo, they be acting like they got shot with a gun, bro. Like they be, they're going through excruciating pain. I no, that. I think nothing's worse than basketball players flopping because these guys are 200 pounds, shredded, six. They're they're monsters. They're huge. And then someone touches them. Ah! Watching LeBron James fall to the ground is like the it's like, bro, you're built like a fucking tank. There's no way that the guy touched your arm and you collapsed to the ground. That That would make you one of the weakest people on planet Earth. Like at least these soccer players are not they're not as physically gifted in terms of like the height and the the build as a basketball player. So, I mean uh, the one that's terrible, well, remember how they used to they can make they used to pump fake shoot and then jump into you and be like, Oh, he fouled me. Those are the worst. Those yeah, are- but that's not flopping. That is like just a legitimate strategy. I hated that shit. But yeah. But um, like Tony like yeah. let me ask you a question up to what level do you think this is uh viable so you're gonna go to your little league game look is gonna be out there it's fucking rigged you got you gotta <laughs> man you gotta pay a thousand dollars for your kid to play in the little league game because they have to they have to pay for all the robot technology <laughs> they need to automate it i actually think the the lower level a sport is the easier it is to rig there's less oversight there's less like regulation there's less committees and you have a lot of conflict of interest the people that run these little league sports organizations are like parents that have kids on teams you know what i'm saying like it's like it's 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 ripe for the taking like you need to corrupt this shit so your kid can succeed you know what i mean like um i don't know i've seen some bullshit <laughs> there Local is boxing agree. tournaments fucking little league tournaments like yeah there'd be some there's, bullshit. there's a movie agree. called called bad words where this grown man uses this clause in the uh, spelling bee rules to join the children's <laughs> spelling bee. <laughs> he's a grown ass man and he's demolishing the competition. So like in the middle of the movie, the director goes into the dictionary to find the hardest words she can find to fuck him over and he still gets them right and then all the parents go and they figure out that she did that and they're like and it still didn't stop him and they're like, they're like no <laughs> I'm sad. so they try to rig it they were for the rigging <laughs> yeah because all the parents are like nah this grown ass man is trying to take my kids shine Word. He's up on the stage psyching little kids out. It's so fucked up. <laughs> I do think, though, um, just to answer your question, yeah, maybe it'll maybe the bots in certain certain sports, maybe not. But like, I still think football would be a good one. Basketball might be overkill because they'll stop way more than and and they'll stop a lot. But yeah, football. Oh, uh, I said basketball, and you and boxing. 
I think box because I don't think they get every single punch. I don't I don't believe that the person who's counting punches or strong punches or whoever's doing that count because I don't I mean like I said I don't watch enough boxing. I think they get those numbers wrong all the time. I mean, there's definitely there's definitely some room for like uh, Air. your own interpretation in there. Like you you sometimes there's a punch and it's like. Did it actually connect? Did it skim off of him? Did it like? Did it make clean contact? There, there's some wiggle room there for sure. There's actually this um, group of like programmers. They um, they wrote this uh, they wrote this app pretty much to th- th- this like AI watches a boxing match and it it basically it has all these different criteria of stats that it records but it, it it could show like how many weak punches does this person land how many medium punches how many strong punches who had control of the center of the ring who had and it keeps track of all this stuff and and now it's interesting for them they run the ai against certain fights to just see what it says about the fight and they use they grab those stats compare it to the punch stats that the the guy that the people calculated and they compare it to the judging to see okay how well did the judges do this and this one round you know Golovkin outlanded Canelo three to one but the judge gave the round to Canelo like how the fuck did that happen and 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 things like that it's it's actually really fascinating they got an Instagram page where they post um, these uh, these anal- match analysis or whatever. I, I can't remember what? the name. I'll find it. I'll send it to you guys. But. Butch, what is the process in boxing like that? Because they count punches at, like while it's happening. Is there just a guy with like a little counter, like one for each boxer, and they're just clicking every time they think there's a punch? Yep. Th- that's um, that's wild. Two, yeah, there's two guys counting the punches for each fighter. And basically, if both of them try to count a punch at the same time, they'll say, okay, two people thought that was a punch, whatever, that's a punch. But regardless, those punches are only for the viewers. That, like, we see those stats, yeah, but the, the judges, judges don't, don't get see that. those stats. The judges yeah. just watch the fight. So the punch counts don't actually matter at all in terms of judging a fight. Tony's over here falling asleep. Tony is ah, 100% ah. asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Those are lies. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Those are lies. You just All went lies. through the fucking seven stages of snoring, bro. Like, he just All lies. Up. Listen. He, for, he was dozing. He got stuck. I was then looking he at hit my that phone. Comfortable, hit that comfortable pose. It's like, ooh. Like, if I didn't say nothing, you were going to lock in right no, there. No. Like, the, the best part is Tony leaving the room early. I'm pretty sure that was just so he could go splash water on his face to try to wake up. <laughs> Up. Wow, <laughs> that's insane! Those boys been using the bathroom all night. No one, no one bats tonight. I use the bathroom to stick the powder in my face with water. Either Doey used the bathroom, or he's going to be peeing in one of those cans that he has at his table. There, facts. Whatever. And then well, he'll Doe's mix up the bottle. Right and he'll mix now. up the can. It'll be, it'll be a whole thing. Dude, he's Doe, wearing a sniper in diaper. the pod. You just like exploded out of your chair and walked out of the room. What the I fuck? Was holding it. Just holding it for a while. Oh my Pretty, god! I had been like, wanting it to go crazy. for a while. Yeah, it was even nuts because you asked the question and you yeah. just like blow, and you just I left. Just, I was like, "What the fuck?" I got my question out and I was like, "Bam! I gotta go now." <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, as you run to the bathroom, hit that subscribe button, like, share, follow. We're on all social media platform, all audio platform only. We're on Discord. Soon on the PlayStation 5 too. Get it. Join us. Talk. Let me know if I'm wrong about sports betting and how shit is rigged. And I was not sleeping. I was looking at my phone. With his eyes closed. Through his eyelids. I do want to say. I do want to say. Because no one really gave their opinion too hard. There's no fucking way the sports are rigged. Yeah, the, the amount the, of people that it would involve. This is a conspiracy. The amount of people that it would be involved would be astonishing. And the fact that the information hasn't leaked in all the years of these sports, it just proves that that it doesn't happen. 
Like Maybe it's not, not uh, on any large scale. There may be some localized event where one or two referees are scheming to try to do a thing yeah. in a particular game, you know, something like that. But if it's some widespread, they get all the NFL players are getting this script for the season. They get, yo, <laughs> this guy, being funny. you need to. Yeah, but it has to happen in some respect. You're saying someone sat that kicker down and told them, bro, you need to miss all four of these kicks. This Go game. wide. <laughs> Go wide Damn. on every kick. Laces out. Laces out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry. Ace Ventura joke. Um, you, you know, you got to miss your field goals every time. Like, that that's the player receiving the script. Is yeah. it scripted that he's even going to be able to kick a field goal? Or is it just, if you get the I chance to kick weird. a field goal, you have to miss it. I yeah, find, everybody yeah, thinks it, it's weird. I find but that you don't crazy think it's that weird. It's you think it's one step science. further. The, you're thinking it's so weird that it can't have, it couldn't have just happened. This those, had cra- to- those crazy like like hail mary passes that land and it's a miracle win. Blah blah blah. They're all scripted. They have a nah, wire attached nah. and they're running the ball out to the other person. No, no wire, <laughs> just magnets in the ball in the player's glove. It's okay, <laughs> that's beast. He's got that stickum from Little Giants. <laughs> <laughs> the NFL knew about the Flake Gate the whole entire time. And then they decided to out them just to stop their reign. You know, it's all rigged. You said one of Tony's words. He perked up there when you said deflate gate. He's like, ah. And we all know about Tom Brady's deflate gate. Yeah, Tom Brady's script just said, you win this year. <laughs> and that's all his script said. <laughs> As always, ladies and gentlemen, go one up yourself. Go one up yourself. Peace. I went like this with the middle finger and switched it up. <laughs>